Hi, welcome everyone. Check out the creepy sky this morning. Weird. What the hell? Wow. Wow. That part, the shadow that you see, is actually bright red, blood red, and it's flashing I don't in the moon. What that is? So if this is a satellite, how come it stopped? How come it's getting big and small? How come a light's going to appear beside this object? And when I say low, it's freaking low. And something's coming in or out of it or appearing beside it. I'll get the shakes off here, there it is. And I got the intensity of light higher, that's why you're seeing some pixelation. But again, it's coming from this craft. Look, flashing lights. Do you see that? But there's a whole bunch of activity right now look it's stationary okay so yeah i showed winding ufos and now a stationary ufo it's just sitting there but it won't be sitting there for that long oh what's it doing why is it getting big and small you'll see the trees are right there i'll pull it down a bit we're right beside the trees it's it's so low that i'm seeing it like over the houses we're starting to wonder what the hell it is it is really really low and close to me and watch what it's going to do you're going to see flashing lights around it and then it's just going to disappear it's going to actually go further away and that's what you're going to see right now as it starts to change i'm trying to i mean freehand outside it's between the trees and that's it boom it's going it's going let's take a look at it splitting in two that's all I can say that it's doing. You will see it become two pieces. There you go. Boom. <laughs> and a gone. So, starting to see some videos of some of those white uh, reflective UFOs crashing here on Earth. I don't know if some of you have seen it. I've, have them, I've had them sent by Russians and Americans and Norwegians and some military people send me footage. And yeah, really lucky. Look at that. On the moon, someone told me he believes... Um, it's a UFO that's landed because of what I had posted in the video and let's take a really good look at it You can see the line there behind the UFO um, That would have crash landed and you know if that uh, you know keeping that as a possibility as a theory We can look around the moon and we often often see some of these lines and uh, what looks like UFO crash sites I'm telling you that is very intriguing to see like a pill shaped form on the ground in line actually elongated on the same length as you see that line at the back where it was just at the end of the mountain just missed off there it could be that it could be a ridge of course but <laughs> it looks like a crash landing site possibility anyways especially seeing the ones uh crashing here in the videos um, that i saw recently so there is possibly a war on the moon do you think um, I, all I know is that there are um, UFOs that have lights uh, literally touching them, going up to them. And all I can see that 
this is is fire that's around uh, the UFOs. So either they're other UFOs. I've seen UFOs split up in two before, both on the moon and with my infrared cameras here in the sky. Really makes you wonder. Now look here. These could be lights that are on the surface firing from the surface too, theoretically. I'm not trying to stick anything in any of your heads. Like I said, it could be normal that there's sputtering of light around a UFO. Well, okay, but you see different sizes, different heights, and levels of these lights that seem, right, to be coming from the surface. And that are all around this UFO that is maintaining its fiery light around it, its glow, its beam. And we have these, um, you know, like hidden uh, firing either coming from the surface or maybe coming from this UFO craft. Those just joining the channel, I can't thank you all enough for the support. It's a real research channel. I do this full time and I need your help to keep this channel up. Thanks a lot. These are UFOs leaving the moon. It's also something that not many people have captured, but some have, but not many. They're rare. Myself, I've not caught many. Just off of the center of the moon, we're not in the edge here. It's the, the Terminator lines there. Lots of people are saying, look at the UFO hovering in the darkness on the moon. It, well, I don't think it's a UFO. I think it's more or less, well, yeah, it could be a UFO, but it's it's not flying. <laughs> it's stationary. So it's something or someone working probably um, on the moon because you can see the brightness um, is an actual fire or smoke um, on the moon, on the surface. Look at that. And that's off the edge of the Terminator line, so it still is on the moon, but on the part of the moon that we can't see in. You know, many uh, miles past the Terminator line, we see that billowing smoke on the moon. They're doing something up there. Inside the craters, we see these fires inside the craters and smokes and atmospheres around them. Greenery on the surface, blues on the surface, yellows, browns, just like here on Earth. Look all around Eratosthenes crater. Um, Copernicus also out off the screen on the left, but you could see at the end of the Apennine Mountains, all the greenery on the surface, which really is there, and that ginormous blue patch, which is very, very wide. Um, also, taking note to see if ever these uh, areas expand um, if the colors change because the blue areas don't really change colors. We see a lot of changes with the colors where they're the green areas. So that's why I can't help but think it's uh, seasonal changes sometimes, theoretically, because we do see greens turn brown, just like we do here when we see the forests in Canada or any country that goes through the four seasons, the winter, spring, summer, and fall. Along the Terminator line, Copernicus Crater, you see its elevation. We have Eratosthenes at the end of the Apennine Mountains. The Apennine, there's Mons, Mons Wolf right there. A lot of channels are being shut down. Um, you know, so uh, if you want to keep this channel going, be sure to keep coming back to the channel. I've had my share of problems over the years, that's for sure. Um, but... Overall, uh, it was very positive. I've showed a lot of things on the moon and I have no intentions of stopping and I promise that I won't. Like I say, if ever I do disappear, well, Bruce Swartz, um, Bruce sees all, those are, you know, words that you'll be looking for. Can't help but wonder with everything going on here and the talk of all the concentration camps, I have it in my heart to find out now what these buildings are on the moon because they are very intriguing, especially the fact that they are all interconnected through these very large and long, uh, wide and long lines that go to and from these, uh, these areas. They're high up in the mountains, very highly elevated too. Not, not an easy area to go uh, and reach. Thanks for subscribing, everyone. I really appreciate that wasn't for my amazing community, this channel wouldn't even exist. Thanks a whole bunch, everyone. I really appreciate it. Slow Disclosure is in progress. More information will be coming a lot more.
Houston, say again, please. 